Okay, so we're going to take this uh, book that we covered in plastic. I'm going to set it down here. We're going to take uh, our mold and we're going to spray it with this uh, surfactant that we used. So I'm just going to spray over the surface of the mold several times. And if there's excess, you can always kind of tap it out of the mold, but that should work fine. And we're just going to stir this up in the cup a little bit. And I'm just going to pour this right into the mold. Kind of shake the cup, kind of work it into the mold. And you notice it's a little bit thick. See, it's not really flowing exactly well into the mold, and you know that we're getting air bubbles in there, but that's not really too big of a problem yet. You see how that is right there? What we're going to do is we're going to take this book and we're going to smack it on the table. We're just going to... And you'll see air bubbles come to the top. You don't have to go crazy with it, but a good smack will kind of get that excess out of there. Now what we can do is take the remainder of the plaster that we've got in here, go ahead and shake it down into the mold, and that looks like that was just about the right amount of plastic for that one right there. And so we're going to go ahead and tap this down a little bit more and uh, get that down in the mold. It looks like that should be just about the right amount of plaster. And I don't know if you can see, if I can zoom in on this, you can probably see that there are some air bubbles right across the top of the mold there. You can see some tiny air bubbles that came to the surface and some that are coming to the surface. So those are where trapped air was. What you can do is you can just sort of uh, take and, and smack this down on, you know, tap on the book and kind of smack it down on there and get those extra bubbles out of there. Now another way to get the plaster to flow down in the mold after you tap it on the table is to take something like a blunt object. A screwdriver probably works the best. Get a big screwdriver with a big plastic handle and what you're going to do is you're going to tap on the bottom of the book with a handle. So extend the edge of the book over the table and then smack on the bottom. Don't go too crazy with it, but this will give it a really nice sharp jar and it'll really get a lot of air bubbles to the surface by doing it this way. Smacking the book on the table does pretty good. It gets rid of some of them, but if you've got a trouble, uh, a little more troublesome mold, tapping on the book like this will do it. And be sure to use the plastic edge so it doesn't put uh, big dents in your book. Now after the plaster is poured into the mold, you can set a timer if you like. You can scrape this mold immediately if you like. But the problem with scraping it immediately is that the plaster is still kind of liquidy. And it's like trying to level off a cup of water, you know, because this, this is still liquidy. If you give this time to thicken up a little bit to where it's more like the consistency of ice cream, then you can scrape it off and your blocks will be much more level. I would suggest taking a timer and setting it from two to five minutes. Okay, this mold has set for three minutes with the plaster in it, and you can see it thickened up a little bit. It's a little bit more like soft margarine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the, uh, the knife. This is a, uh, I think this one's a six inch uh, used for sheetrock, and it's just a putty knife is what it's called. We're gonna kinda lay it at a 45 degree angle, and I'm not gonna use much pressure, and I'm just gently gonna scrape over the top. It looks like that's scraping over just fine. And you can take a paper towel and you can sort of wipe off the excess here. But what you can do if it's if it hardened up a little on it, you can kind of use a zigzaggy motion and go over it. And that'll be sure to clean off the top and kind of break up any plaster that may be a little bit too thick on the top of the mold. So we'll scrape over it that way. And I'll wipe this off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back the other way at about a 45 degree angle. And you can scrape over it this way, or you can angle the knife and then scrape over it that way. Sometimes if you scrape over it straight, it'll want to catch on pockets and the mold will snap back and it won't get you a flat uh, scrape. So if you scrape over it and kind of angle the knife a little bit like this as you're going across it, it seems to do a pretty good job and that will, uh, that will level it off pretty nice. 